I bet you've become so familiar with Bertha's templates, which are amazing. You haven't even bothered to look at the long form content. You can't miss it. It's right down there, long form content. What's this all about? This is gonna give you more than what you get with the template. The templates are amazing, okay? And they give you nuggets of information and bits of text you can use and expand on. But what if you want bigger, richer paragraphs that kind of just start to generate themselves each time you decide on where you wanna go next with your blog, your landing page, anything? Make sure you fill in the long form details in terms of title, a rough description and some keywords just to give Bertha something to think about. I've gone for a subject matter which isn't typical of something you might wanna write about, but I just wanna show the power of what you get with Bertha. So we've gone with scuba diver in Thailand. I have a description in here. I've got my target audience. I'm gonna go for the witty style because that's what I like to think I am. And I've put in some keywords. I've got quite a few in there. Thailand diving, coastline divers, fish, accommodation hire, cost, safety, uh, fun, food, things like that, okay? So any keywords I think are relevant. A good thing to do is to copy the title and stick that in. You could generate another one with Bertha if you so want because you can jump around to templates at any time you want and back in against the long form. So don't worry about mixing it up a little bit. But I'm just going to go with scuba diving in Thailand and I'm going to change this to be a header one like that, okay? And one of the other reasons I've done that is so that you can see the text below and my face isn't covering it. Okay, right. So we've now done our description and our keywords. Let's hit generate text. Within seconds, Bertha has generated this and dumped it in the page. This is so much more than what you would normally get with say a blog intro paragraph or any of those other templates. Look at it, scuba diving, Thailand holiday packages is a tropical country, etc., etc. It's a great opening paragraph if you're trying to entice people into why they should do scuba diving in Thailand. I've never been to Thailand by the way, I don't even do scuba diving. Why did I pick this subject? Now, here's the beauty about the long form content, okay? I could now take a bit of that text and stick it at the bottom and separate out and have some further information or I could just hit generate text again. And there you go, it starts to type it in for us. Now I've just added in some returns on here, but look at that. Okay, within seconds, I've just given you almost a page of information for your landing page, for your blog. You would pick and choose what you're gonna use, but there is the text. You're not having to think about the language, the literature in terms of how it all comes together, the prose, the commas, the full stops. It's doing it all for you in a fantastic, efficient way. But we can go further than that. By the way, this text you could just copy over and paste into, say, a blog post or a landing page, like I've said, and then you could add in further images or you could give yourself a hint as well. And you might say, OK, um, add image, for instance, over here. And I'm just going to do that stick it in bold like that so you don't forget to drop in an image. But let's go further, okay? We have already got two paragraphs. This is where we are going to mix it up with a Bertha template and then come back to long form content to pad out that information. I'm gonna go for scuba diving in Thailand and I'm gonna go to templates and I'm gonna click on blog and I'm gonna go to blog post outline. I'm gonna type into here, scuba diving in Thailand. So we're using the blog post outline and we've put the title in and we've got some great suggestions here. I quite like this one down here, which is um, learn how to scuba dive, pack up your gear, find a place where you can stay. So I'm going to just click over here and I'm now going to click that. But I also like some of the other suggestions. So I'm just going to go underneath and I'm going to add these ones in as well. As you can see, I've changed the order and the last one is now how to get to Thailand. I'm just going to highlight these scroll up and I'm going to make these be a heading, we'll go with a heading three, okay? Just so we can space them out a bit. Now then, here's the real beauty about long form content, okay? I am not gonna change anything that sits in the long form details. I could do, but I won't do. Instead, what I'm gonna do is just hit return after learn how to scuba dive, right? And I'm now gonna hit generate text because the long form content in this really magical way is gonna detect what's above and expand on that. And that's where having these headers really helps. If you don't put the headers in, you could miss out. It, it might follow um, the paragraph above rather than what you want. So by having a header or just some text sitting above, it starts to pick it up. I mean, how can I explain this without falling off my chair? 
this is just quite amazing in the amount of content it gives. And, and can you see how this is more powerful than the Bertha templates? Do not get me wrong. The Bertha templates are amazing. But when you really want to expand on things and you really want to pad out the wording, this will do it for you. Don't forget to add images, okay? Or leave a note to yourself to do that later. Or even put the name of the image that if you're being very specific. Because if you don't have images, it becomes a very boring blog post or even a landing page. Let's now scroll down to what you need for scuba diving. I'm just going to click there and I'm going to click generate text. Can you just see the amount of content that's come out from one sentence there? I've separated it into three paragraphs because it's just one big block of text. But you can rent a tank of air from dive shops. I did not know that. I thought I could just go outside and breathe air. But hey, I get the idea. Let's now go down. Pack up your gear and head to Thailand. Let's just hit generate text again. So we've now created some content that might not sit in the same blog post or the page, and it might be an about Thailand page, but this is now selling to me the beauty of why Thailand is an amazing country. Find a place in Thailand where you can learn how to scuba dive. I mean, literally by me just clicking under the header, generating text, it's pumping all this out for us. And the final one, how to get to Thailand. I could have got this information off Google or Wikipedia. But Bertha's already done the research, already done the condensing and sorted out what is relevant based on our topic. And that was without me adding anything into the long form details other than my starting point, which was my scuba diving in Thailand. I'm now going to take this bit here and I'm going to add a blog post conclusion. So imagine this was a blog post, OK? You could even add it on a normal uh, landing page or any other page as well. I'm going to hit return. I'm going to go to templates. We're going to go to blog. And I'm going to go to blog post conclusion paragraph. It is a template. Like I've said already to you, you can mix up long form content and templates as you go along. Let's drop that in. So scuba diving in Thailand. And I'm also going to have a call to action. So I've put jump into diving for my call to action. Is that a good one? I think so. And as always, Bertha has generated some fantastic conclusion paragraphs. I quite like this one here. I've added in a title conclusion as well, just at the top. I've moved over the words and slightly rearranged it ever so slightly. And there's my conclusion paragraph. Remember, you would be dropping it. You would add notes to yourself where you want to have images or other content. But this is a humongous blog post or content that I could use on my website. You know, it's all written out for me. Imagine you're working with a client and they don't know what they want to put on their website. They have an idea of their business, roughly what their keywords are and the title maybe. You could use this to help you generate the content and you could say to them, right, are you OK with this? Double check it. If you're fine with it, I can proceed with the website or you could wait for them to do the content. Or what about if you're creating your own website and you know what it's all about? You know the market you're trying to hit, but you're struggling to get the words out. You know, what if you work in construction? So you know what you do, but you just don't know, well, how should I word it? You know, I'm not I'm not that kind of person. I'm very hands on doing the work but I don't know how to say it or write it out in words. This is going to help you out immensely. I'm just going to copy all of this in a matter of minutes. We've created nearly two and a half pages of content. That's just over 1,200 words. And I've been talking the methodology going off on a tangent. If you had just focused on this, you could have probably have done this in five minutes, maybe 10. But this is your content that's now going to be fit for the whole of your website, a particular blog post, whatever you want. And that is the beauty of what we're doing here. This is amazing, amazing information. I'm going to type into here a title, which is the best season for diving. Made it a header and it's generated this text for me that tells me what's the best time for me to start going diving. So again, you might have a page where you want to add further content. This is a great way to do it. So you can now pad out bits of your page. Hey, look, I hope the long form content and just how powerful this is, especially in how it very quickly starts to generate information for us is useful for you. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. We'll see you soon.